Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Try TV. This is Nicole, and today we're going to be making the Tunisian spiced chicken, chicken stew, with potatoes, zucchini, and garbanzo beans from Gobble. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. And there will be a referral link for Gobble in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out for yourselves. Otherwise, let's get into it. So, I am allergic to most seafoods. Um, therefore, I actually customized this recipe and selected the chicken instead. So on the side here, um, you can personalize your proteins. And I went with the sliced chicken breast. They also had shrimp, but I'm allergic to that too. So this is where we landed. Um, the customization options aren't available for every recipe, but they are available for most of them. So where I can take advantage of it, I try to. All right, so let's go ahead and get cracking. First, we're going to slice up our zucchini and Yukon potatoes into bite-sized pieces. Let me find them. Got our packaging out the way. Here's our potatoes. Here's our zucchini. Let me grab a cutting board and get these going. Be right back. All right. I'm back, so let's go. Take the top off of this little tail here. We'll slice it down the middle. Like so. Wait, wait, wait. That didn't quite cut. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to slice it one more time. Like so. Just come apart on me. Oh, come apart. Here we go. I mostly got it. Come on. There we go. And then we're going to try to keep our little quarters together here. Stick with me. And we're going to slice it like so. Boom. Done. Okay. Are these won't be needing those. Um, this is ultimately going to go into a large saute pan, so let's go ahead and get that going. So, step three I need to have a large non stick saute pan. Let's zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, we're going to add two tablespoons of cooking oil. I will be using olive oil, set to medium, and then we're going to throw our potatoes in first, and then later our zucchini in. Garbanzo beans. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put these in a bowl so they're out the way. And let me also get our pan going. Be right back. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Setting that off to the side. I've got my pan of oil over there heating. We're going to get our potatoes done and ready. How am I doing this? The same way, maybe? <laughs> it's actually easier with the potatoes because they're sturdier. And we're done. All right. So these are going to go straight into my pan now for five minutes. That's how we're looking. Let's bring it over here. I feel like I may have cut them up too small. So instead of doing five, we're going to do four. It said four to five minutes on the recipe card. Um, we're going to do four because I think these are going to be so small that they're just going to cook right up, which is what I need. Okay, let's spread these out. Where are my onions? This doesn't feel right. <laughs> right. This is 
Uh, yeah, cover the pan with a lid. So let's go ahead and do that. And set our timer for... Okay, yeah, sure, that works, whatever. Um, for four minutes, and then we will return. All right, so bringing you back over here, let's move on to our next step. Um, oh, I messed up. I messed up. Sliced chicken breast. Before adding the Yukon Gold potatoes in step three, add the sliced chicken into the pan and cook for three to five minutes until blah, 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 and then remove from the, remove from the chicken, what? Remove, remove from, what? Remove the chicken from the pan and continue with the cooking steps, returning the chicken to the pan with the peas in step four. Okay, typo there, that had me messed up. All right, so my potatoes are already in there, so I'm gonna let them go ahead and finish. And then I'm gonna take them out and then we will put in our chicken. So let me go ahead and towel dry these and season them with salt and pepper in the meantime. Be right back. All right, because after I remove, after the potatoes are done, you're supposed to add in the zucchini and the garbanzo beans next. So what I'll do is I will pour my potatoes in here and then when the chicken's done, then I will just, actually, maybe I should just go ahead and cook the veggies first and then put them all in this bowl. Do the chicken. I'm trying to make this as easy on myself as possible since I already messed up. Do the chicken. Yeah, and then once the chicken's done, I can add the shakshuka sauce, the peas, and all the veggies back in. All right, so I think I know how I'm gonna do this. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get this going. Got about a minute left on the chicken. I'm sorry, I've got about a minute left on my potatoes. Multitasking is not my not my forte. All right my potatoes ready but we're gonna go ahead and finish with this chicken because then I have to wash my hands and I just want to be done let me lay these on here that way I can dump them from the tray into the pan after I season them and I won't have to dirty my hands again all right cool now I'm gonna go wash my hands and get my potatoes Actually, I'm going to leave them in, and I'm going to add in the zucchini here and the garbanzo beans. Be right back. All right, so we're back. I'm going to just a little bit. Where's my spatula? Oh, here we go. Stir this just a little bit. I thought I could do it with a pan, but that didn't work out. Go ahead and get the rest of our ingredients in here. Here's the zucchini going in. All right. Make this all together. Let me check and see if I'm supposed to season this at all. Looks like it needs onions, but I'm gonna let it go. All right. Let's see. Uh, I was supposed to stir occasionally. I didn't do that, so make sure you don't make my mistake. Um, so we are supposed to season with salt and pepper and then cook uncovered for three minutes. Okay. Pepper. 
All right, so it's been three to four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this into our bowl over here. And then we will cook our chicken, which should have been already done, but whatever. And we're back. So let's add some more oil. Okay. And we're going to add our chicken strips here. And we're supposed to cook them for about three to five minutes. So let's see if we can get these laid down. I need to season this guy with salt and pepper. All right. There we go. Chicken's in the pan. We probably got another minute or so on this side before we flip them. Now, once the chicken's done, um, we will go ahead and add the shakshuka sauce and bring it to you. And then after we add the sauce, we will, and bring that to the simmer, we'll add our peas, cook the peas for two minutes, and then we'll add all the other vegetables back in. It looks like we're coming along nicely. I'm going to go ahead and flip, flip this. Flip it over. And we'll give this about two more minutes. All right, so it's been two more minutes on the other side. We're going to go ahead and add our sauce here. Very carefully. Okay. Bring that to a simmer. All right, so we have mixed in our peas. It's been two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, got those in there. I went ahead and put those in there. Um, so we've got about two more minutes left. I'm gonna cover this because I'm wearing white and I don't want my kitchen to be a complete disaster. It's never fun cooking with tomato sauce. So one more minute and then we will add back in the rest of our veggies and potatoes and we'll be ready to eat. All right, gonna go ahead and add in our veggies and stuff and things. Get on in there guys, join the fun, join the party. By the way, I did not do this correctly. Make sure you read the recipe card. Don't, don't, don't do what I did. <laughs> I think it'll turn out okay, but yeah. Here we go. We're basically done. So I'm going to turn this off. And our last step here is to add some fresh torn cilantro, which they gave us. For the top is garnish. So here we go. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the finished product. So I'm gonna try it straight out the pan. And let's see how she tastes. Um, this is gonna be interesting because I'm like, how do I get chicken? I guess like it's gonna be hard to break it down. It's a stew, so I wanna eat it with a spoon, but then how do you get the chicken? You know what I'm saying? This isn't working. Darn it, I gotta use a fork and knife. This is gonna be interesting. Just trying to break up the chicken a little bit. Boom, there we go. All right, now let's see if we can do this. All right, so there's my bite. Put a little piece of chicken in there. It smells good, it has like a nice rich smoky smell to it. It's good. It's like comfort foodie. Good. Um, doesn't need any more salt or pepper. We're good. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna take one more bite. 
Um, I'm taking, a, I'm tasting a lot of spices in the sauce that I love. Um, and I wonder if it's enough to make the overall dish awesome. Because it really does just depend on that sauce, right? Okay, one more bite. Yeah, I would give this an 8 out of 10. I give it an 8 out of 10. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very rich in spices, which I love. And, um, yeah, it's just very comfort foody. Like, it's such a nice stew. I like it a lot. And there's a good bit here. Um, I think you could easily stretch this into three servings. Um, so yeah, overall eight out of 10 and I would highly recommend it. And if it comes up again, I would order it. So thanks so much for joining us guys. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. If you're interested in trying gobble for yourself, there will be a referral code in the description box. This has been the Tunisian spiced chicken stew with potatoes, zucchini, and garbanzo beans from gobble. Thanks so much. See you next time on Honest Try TV. Bye.